Hey guys, so I have been MIA because I've actually been in the hospital with a terrible sore throat slash that went like septic. I was really bad sick for a while. So I'm all better. So I'm trying to get back to cooking you some of that Appalachian cooking, the traditional way that I was going to show you that I had talked about before. So today we are cooking what I call patty pan squash. Um, I got these at our farmer's market. Um, Josh's, my husband's grandmother and grandfather used to grow these um, and theirs were white and they are just so good. They're basically just the same as a regular cook neck squash, but they are um, obviously a funner shape um, and the, I find that the plants yield a little bit more fruit than a regular um, squash plant. But um, I just love the flavor of them, and particularly the white variety. But um, this is what I got. I was excited to find them at the farmer's market. And um, this is what they look like cut up. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've got me some, I got two eggs here. I'm going to whisk them. And you can add some water. I just don't think I'll use a whole lot. And then in this, I have got some cornmeal and just a handful of flour and some salt and pepper. And you can put whatever you want in this. I do not ever measure this. So you just kind of make what you, what you feel like you need. If you need to make more, then you can make more. Um, I've already washed these and I've started slicing them. And I've got my cast iron pan and I'm cooking with grapeseed oil today because on Trim Healthy Mama, we do not use vegetable oil. Um, so that is what I'm using there. And um, <clears throat> also, if you are Trim Healthy Mama, um, you might not have cornmeal or flour in your house. You can use, I use masa in this, um, but typically I would use, uh, traditionally I would use regular cornmeal. Um, masa is just lime treated cornmeal. So, um, and then um, I would not, Put flour in this but we are not we are not eating on plan tonight so um, like I said these um, heritage cooking and Appalachia recipes that I'm sharing with you are not gonna be all plan on with trim healthy mama so what I'm gonna do is just dip it in the egg really quick I kind of wipe off the excess and then just cover it with the flour and I, I like to cut these pretty thin um, my husband and I both like them pretty thin, but some people like them a little bit more thicker. So, to test your oil, I have not tested it yet. You're just gonna wait till you get some bubbles when you put it in there and you know it's ready. This could be a little bit more hotter, so I might let that one go ahead, um, but I am gonna wait for a minute before I put any more in. And then I always cut a little bit on the end so that it's just sta more stable for me to um, cut there. And then I just cut them real thin. Okay, so it's been just a minute. I'll flip it over. And you can see that it's good and brown. It's just starting to get brown. I don't let it all get brown. So the water is definitely, um, not water <laughs> do not put water in this that will cause a fire um, the oil is definitely hot enough so again just wipe throw it over there and I just get gummy fingers and, and get it done so you can take your time and do whatever yeah just a minute let me let me get this first pan in here and show them yeah so tonight we are having um, a hamburger um, hash brown casserole. Mm. Um, that is super simple. I just had some ground beef and I already had some diced hash browns with onions. And I just um, warmed them up, fried, fried the meat and um, potatoes really, really quickly just to heat them up while my oven preheated. Mixed it with some cream of mushroom soup like and some sh grated cheddar, cheddar cheese um, and, and started it because um, I am, like I said, we're not eating on plan today. Um, while I have been sick, we have 
not been to the grocery store and um, the kids are going to be gone next week so I'm just trying to use up some of the stuff that we kind of bought that people bought us while I was in the hospital so that I don't typically buy so we're just kind of using up our food but there's my pan I'm just going to let these fry and it does not take them long once this gets um, hot she's got, <laughs> she's got a pan and a, a lid um, see how quick that was I mean that was just super quick and they're ready that if you get brown. your oil um, on right and grapeseed oil is a great frying oil because it doesn't yeah. there's no smell hey don't take it from her um, there's no smell that it leaves behind or anything like that like some of the other oils that I cook with so that's it that's all it is I'll show you when they get done so I'm on my last batch um, but I tell you, as soon as these come off, if you got somebody helping you or something, because if your hands are dirty, you can't. Just sprinkle them to salt while they're still hot, just like you would french fries. Um, makes a big, big difference. Okay, this is what our casserole looks like. I'm just going to put some more of that grated cheddar that I had left over on the top of it. And there's our fried squash. Thanks, guys.